is it? Um, but is it light? Is it curved? Which is why it's a board with touch. Let me see. Is that this? This is the one. Mm -hmm. And the other major item here is the edge of the surface. So just close it by selecting these two. Then you will find this edge here, as you see, the edge of the second surface, because they are to be attached to each other. And that's all. I can fill in any uh, specific thing or any any detail. But what I was telling a minute ago was, if you want to go into much detail on the side surfaces, you will want to make a special profile of the side surface you can for example in here in this plane you can uh, define a s shaped for example s shaped profile uh, so all the surface will be uh, will be in a much complex uh, shape so you can try it out you can try it out uh, by yourself but I just find smooth line here, smooth edge, uh, and nothing more as a second direction. So there you got the basic idea of creating multiple surfaces, I guess. Okay. So so this is the time for a mirror. I use this mirror command and we performed surfaces here and now you can check the company if you was busy if you click on your uh, right mouse button and right click on the surface I mean and you select zebra stripes here make sure uh, you put in this slider at uh, the right side so you can see a maximum uh, zebra stripes on the surface so you can see you can check the company name with the angle light of the reflected image here as you see there is no problem because what we did was um, uh, what we did was uh, providing the uh, minimum conditions which is all the tensions the company need to be in the right side uh, by defining here you might find it normative profile so what you are you know uh, because there is no surface here you cannot select tangents here so you need to uh, select normative profile option here in order to uh, perform tangency conditions so we've done it okay in order to uh, hide these zebra stripes just right click on the surface you need zebra stripes and if you select this uh, option you just close the um, surface uh, which you click which you clicked on but if you select uh, the one at the top it closes the zebra stripe option so it closes all the zebra stripes on all surfaces so let me choose this now you need need the surfaces in order to make the shine. So let's go step by step. As you see, let, let me show you again. There was a blue border, blue border line um, at the end the end of the surface here. It means that all these surfaces are not connected. If you see a blue line among uh, or between surfaces. Uh, it means that there's a gap or uh, they're not stitched together. Now, if you meet them, it becomes black. It means that they are all connected. Okay, we do it in step by step basis. So, right click, step by step. The one at the front. Now we have to combine all of them together. So, as you see, all uh, all the reds. Come to the end 
enjoyed this part which I am sure is too much it's clipping yes well it comes sometimes as a trouble for very complex shapes but in these basic shapes now it's too much enjoyable let's have fun with this okay sure uh, I have uh, surface continuity here so you can check it here as you see uh, here we have a, a continuum without any problem monthly reflections you can see okay so you know you know tell me uh, it's, it's a difference with continuum with surface continuity and intention continuum it's indeed it's another pro it's another subject to discuss but let me show it in um, in a brief way let's examine this uh, register Okay, I applied the face face fillet here, and I select two faces. As you see, one is blue and the other is pink on the other side, and they are all selected in different axes, as you see. Now, I will make a curvature continuous. This is the one about it. If you select, if you unselect curvature continuous, let's see what will happen. You see that the reflection is broken is broken there's no continuity because tangency continue tangent continuity doesn't uh, uh, doesn't perform uh, reduce from a continuum among faces you see that these lines are broken now pay attention to the difference in the reflection now I'll choose curvature continuous again and as you see, there's a continuum back again. No problem with any reflection. Uh, this is the most uh, apparent difference between tangency, tangency, tangent continuum and curvature continuum. Anyway, uh, you can work it out in many different ways and in many different tutorials on the internet. There are many tutorials showing differences between tangent continuum and surface continuum. Curvature continuum. Anyway, okay. Uh, now I'm closing all these particular strap uh, reflections, and I'm selecting the option at the top, and it will close all the surfaces. As you see, they're all gone. Okay, we have revoked the other fillets. Mm -hmm. I made it the same way in order to understand the world reference. You can click on related surface and you see the uh, value dimension of the, uh, the surface or the feature you would like to examine and check it out it's a half millimeter radius it's curvature continuity and those are 20 20 millimeters and it's nice to examine it at 20 millimeters as well now we have a gap at the bottom 